So it's been like three days since Jedi Survivor has released on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. However, it did not come out for the last generation consoles. If you guys have been playing Jedi Survivor, you guys will realize that there's a lot of problems with this game. It's very buggy, has a lot of performance, you know, issues, kind of poor textures, sometimes the resolutions isn't that great, very bad FPS drops. However, Respawn have released an update patch note, which is coming out today for PC and for Xbox and PlayStation 5 tomorrow. So here are the patch notes for Jedi Survivor. Do you apologize for the poor quality of the image? So for PC, they're going to be getting performance improvements for non-ray traced rendering. For PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, there is a lot more to the patch notes. So they will be fixed in mobile crashes across all platforms with certain areas in the game. Also fix an issue whenever you would skip a cutscene, the game would crash as well. Also, they've improved performance improvements for our PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S. Fix an issue with rendering issues. They fixed an issue with dynamic cloth inside of the Mantis. Fix an issue with register uh, nickel colors, not saving. Fix an issue with register nickel disappearing from the stable. Fix issues with cinematic dialogue overlapping each other. Fix various collision issues. Fix an issue with an enemy AI remaining in T post during photo mode. Fix the freeze that occasionally occur while talking to Doma. Fix the bug where the BD Oil VFX did not properly render. Fix an issue where players were getting stuck inside the chamber of Jawaii. If you didn't save after leaving the chamber and die, you would be permanently stuck in there and you would restart your whole damn game because you couldn't get out unless you have this update. So if you guys are stuck in that area, don't worry. Update is coming out tomorrow, so don't start the game over. If you've definitely explored a lot of the game as well, you don't want to be doing everything from scratch. PC have got the update today, and PlayStation and Xbox will also get this update tomorrow. I'm really hoping that it really does improve the game overall. I'm not really wanting to play this game whenever it looks kind of a wee bit crap and it performs a wee bit crappy. I love the game the bits. I'm really having a lot of fun, but overall, I've just not been enjoying the game because of the performance and the resolution issues. But overall, I'm I'm still loving the game. It's just it's the experience just hasn't been as good as I wanted it to be. But anyway, it is what it is. I'm not going to try and complain too much about it. I will have comments turned off because a lot of people have been giving out spoilers for the game, and I don't want anyone getting the game spoiled for them or even myself. So comments will be turned off. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe for more Star Wars Jedi Survivor content that are spoiler free. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.